Welcome back to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're gonna play Dust to the End. Now this is a traveling game with turn-based combat. It's somewhat similar to things like Vagrus the Riven Realms. So let me show it off. It's currently in early access and uh, it costs less than 7 euros. So we can pick either an adventure career or a pathfinder. Pathfinder is ranged and adventure is melee. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the ranged and I'll tell you why. It's because uh, when you are doing the turn-based combat, you have like positioning, like a front row and a, and a back row, similar to something like Dead Age 2. And if you have a character who is a ranged, so who's behind, then the enemies can hit him unt until they get rid of the front character, which is the melee one. So you can essentially protect your character and keep him hidden in the back, which is really, really cool. You start off with a special range specialization. Increase attack power by 10% when equipped with ranged weapons. And then you can pick additional stuff. You can pick two combat traits and one business trait. So, combat traits, we're going to pick this thing. We're going to pick harassing. When dealing critical damage to an enemy target, there's a 35% chance that the target will fall into chaos. Now, these are kind of similar to what you get if you're doing melee, except it's switched to like range instead of melee. So for example, if you have a, the melee character here, this says increase hit by 6% when equipped with melee weapons. We're gonna go with increase hit by 6%. Yeah, we're gonna pick that. You could also increase our crit chance. If you're doing melee, you have also some interesting abilities like thorns, like if you get hit, you deal damage back and things like that, but it's not really effective to have with the range, so that's why they didn't put it here. Then we can pick a business trial, so we can increase the caravan's consumption of water and food, or increase the load and things like that. We're gonna increase the load of the caravan, that's really important. Because you're gonna need a lot of load in the caravan to make it work. Now here you can see some skills, and now we can pick our name and how we want to look. So we're gonna be a female, Samstra. A head zero, you can change your head, let's go with head three, some of our hair. Let's go with, let's go with this. This is this is the kind of hair that says like, I'm confident with myself and I don't care what you think. I like that, that's a good hair. Uh, clothes wise, we don't really care. Let's go with this and pants. Yeah, this seems like a good setup. And we've got ourselves a crossbow. And we've got a couple of special abilities which we'll talk about when we get into combat. We're gonna get a melee character as a part of the game. So it's a pretty good combination. Finally. Human civilization has completely destroyed itself. The survivors. The children can only reflect on what happened in the underground tunnels. With, and watch on the screen with their pure and hopeful eyes. Okay, I didn't catch that. The opposition holds high banner of democracy, but successfully coerced management to sold us out. From excitement to anxiety. People waited hopelessly for their return. There was a well-equipped, unexpected visitor. Nasty counterattack was defeated instantly. The cost of resistance was too heavy. Needlessly struggling. There is no hope. I've got to say they look so good. <laughs> the enemies. After a brief comma. Apparently it wasn't too long. I mean, The blurred vision. I struggled up. The sounds of gunshot deep in the shelter awakened me completely. only one word in my mind. Run! How about three words? Run, doctor, run! Alright, let's go. Oh, I can see a city. You're gonna- oh, and we just plopped into the sand. So close! Dusty. And as you can see, the English translation is not perfect, but um, they're working on it, so hopefully it will improve. 
Also, the cutscene's going way too fast. Like, I wasn't able to, to read everything to you. I wish you could just, like, click it as, as is typical, like, and then let it go forward. A severe headache gradually wakes you up and you find an old man sitting in front of you. Thank God you finally woke up. My name is... I'm gonna name him Rudy after one of my patrons. My name is Rudy, the village head here, and people call me Old Rudy. Judging from your clothing, you're underground, right? Do you have any questions? Yeah, what is an undergrounder? This is a collective term for people living in underground shelters. Don't be taboo. This is not a derogatory term. Calm down. I wasn't insulting you. Do you have any questions? I mean, I don't know. If that's your reaction when I have questions, maybe I shouldn't have questions. Did you find anyone else like me? It's a pity that we send people to search around, but no one else was found. Do you have any questions? <laughs> yeah, you know what? No, we don't have any more questions. Well, although you were in a coma for six hours, everything else was normal except for a slight lack of water. Take this, this food and water. Old Rudy put down the food and water, turned around and left the room, talking with other people at the door. After a while, a strong man came in, looking at the age of 50 or so. Immediately, the other party stretched out his big hand. Okay. My name is Robert. I'm the captain of the Cactus Village Caravan, and I'm also responsible for training new fish. I'm not a fish. My intention is very simple. According to the rules on the wasteland, from the moment I saved you, you belong to me. I mean, what? <laughs> Who came up with those rules? <laughs> now I want to requisition you. So wake up and follow me. <laughs> Any questions? I love how they always ask you if you have questions, but like they do not care. <laughs> um, no. You know what, let's not have any questions. Seems like the more questions we ask, the worse the, is the, are the answer. So let's just know. Your undergrounders are all shocked and different as you. The very beginning. Relax, I'll tell you everything later. Now we're about to raise 5,000 funds to pay the taxes in Border Town. You will come to complete this quest with me at the right time. Like he has no doubts, like he's just gonna do it. As I say, new fish, take these salt and sell to Tucker Village. We will make a fortune if there is no such material. I'd rather have a local map and walking in the wild. The price of getting lost is often fatal. Oh, luckily I'm live. M map of D Dune Zone. So he's gonna um, paint us the map. We're just gonna skip that. Alright, so. The two main parts of the game. Combat and then uh, shopping. So we've got our, our source uh, caravan. You can click on over here. We can have only two people. So I'm gonna take myself and move myself behind him. So that in combat I am protected by him and the enemies have to hit him first. All right. What is really cool in this game is that you can also have like relationships, so you can see like what's the relationship between. It's kind of, it's kind of like neutral, but maybe later on we'll be able to have some interesting relationships. And then here we can see like the effects that we have on our caravan. Currently, the only effect I have is the effect of my character that I increase the load by fourteen percent. That's pretty cool. And up here you can see our morale. Uh, if morale is zero, I think people are going to leave you, like part of your camp. Now, the main part of the game is shopping and buying different things. So we've got a quest where we need to get 5,000 gold. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to... Actually, we would buy salt, but we actually don't need much more salt. We already have some. So before you buy stuff, you want to check the map and you want to see how much food you're going to need in order to move to the next area. So we're going to need to go to Tucker's village. And for that, we need 7.7 .7 kilograms of food and 15.4 kilograms of water. We have both of that. So we don't actually need to buy any more. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to buy some more salt, however much we can... Oh, we have no money, okay, so we're not going to do anything. In that case, let's just go. So we're going to click on the map, we're going to move to Tucker Village. And then it's going to move us to this different kind of map. Up here we can see how much water and food we have remaining and our speed. Speed is relevant because eventually in the game we're going to be able to buy vehicles, which will allow you to move a little bit faster. And then here you can see some enemies or potentially another caravan, so we could go to them and say, hey, I want to trade with you. We could also try to attack them if you want to, but there's a guard here, so it might not work out so well. So we can trade with them. We could, for example, buy some additional water or wool. Ooh. We can sell salt for 87. I think that's pretty good. Like back there, it was for 37 that we could buy it. So let's give him half of our salt. And we could buy wool or light leather. The thing is, we don't actually know if this is a good price or not, but let's try, let's try 10 wool. We'll do it. And we'll see for how much we can sell the wool in, uh, we'll also buy however much water we can. 
in the attacker village. So let's keep moving to the attacker's village. And we'll see if we bought the wool for a good price. Alright. Here we are, this is Taka's village, barren and poor. The turn is the best leather and oil. We have to sell the goods we carry, then buy oil and sell it to Beisha village. Alright. So we can go to the shop and we can sell the wool. We bought it for 70 so we can sell it for 100 so we're gonna make some really nice profit. And the salt we can sell for 84, if it shows almost the same as we sold for the caravan. So we're gonna make 1,800 over here and we should buy a lot of oil. So we're gonna first sell everything we've got. But before the, you buy all the oil again, you gotta check the food and stuff here. Now I actually know that in the base shop, which we won't be able to buy any supplies. So we need to buy enough for twice as much as we need. So we're gonna need 17 water, so we should have 34 water and twice as much food, so that's 16 food. 34 water and 16 food. So let's buy 34 water and 16. We have, we don't have much food, and let's, I guess we'll go with 10 food. Yeah, because we need to buy some oil to be able to make at least some money. We can only buy nine oil, which is not great. But I guess it's better than nothing. Now, there's nothing else we can do over here, so we're just gonna move to Baisha Village. Okay, we've got a trader fighting a bug beast. He's gonna win this. Let's fight the bug beast. Oh, uh, was it asking? Okay, I was worried it was asking where I want to help. And I can show you the combat, which is very, very cool. So in the combat, the action points are shared between your characters and they're used for special attacks. Otherwise, each character can do like one attack regularly or you can use a special attack. So what we have here, he has an ability of crash, which does 130% damage as opposed to 100, which is normal. Or he can do shock, which doesn't do any damage, but it causes the, the enemy to be stunned for one round. So we're going to do that. We're going to stun this one. And then with my ranged character, I can use a normal attack or a knowing 130% damage or repeating causes 100% damage to a single target and 30% has a chance to trigger action again. We'll do a regular attack for now. Now each of our characters has armor, which you can see up top and then regular health. Armor gets replenished at the start of the next combat. Health uh, gets healed up over time. So if you do another combat way too quickly, then it's not gonna, but otherwise it's fine. We'll do a regular attack here so that we can use a special ability with uh, Samstra and use the repeating and see if maybe we could get Ovi missed. So we didn't get another action point and we didn't do much damage. Right. So let's do a let's do another shock attack on this thing so it can hit us back, and then we'll use a regular attack here. Yeah, it still has a pretty high health, unfortunately. All right, we'll use. Uh, now we cannot use another shock again because if we did it's immune the second time it's always immune so you gotta watch out for that and now we're gonna be able to attack this one so we'll start with the shock as always we'll do the repeating damage afterwards oh we keep missing that one thing to watch out for is that if you only have one melee character in the front then obviously it's going to take the majority of the damage and you can't uh, Spread the damage between characters as you could normally. That's something to watch out for. We'll keep stunning it. And then we'll use the... Well, actually we can use the repeating damage, so we'll just use normal damage. Now we should be able to kill it with the regular attack. Nice. Now we can pick up any items. We've got some bug beast meat and baby bug beast, so we'll grab it all. If you can't fit it into your load, then obviously you can't have it. So it's something to keep in mind. Now let's leave. Now our reputation has increased because we helped that trader. So he's going to tell everybody about it. Say, hey, this one helped me. Baisha village is rich in mineral deposits, rich in copper and cloth. They're huge profits, but only for very few people. In fact, most people are engaged in mining, can only feed bug beast meat and still don't eat enough. We'll find that there's very little food in the market. Okay, so this is telling us that you need to buy the supplies elsewhere. We already know about it. So we're not going to worry about it. We're going to sell all our oil though. Make some money. Why can't we sell any more? Yeah. And also we could sell... Actually we're going to keep... We'll sell the baby bug beast. 
but we'll keep the rest of the food. Now here we can buy iron ore or cloth. Let's buy cloth as much as we can. And a little bit of... Wait, uh, we should first check if we have enough food. And move to the next village. Yes, we do. So... No, that's not what I meant. So we're going to buy some more of this iron ore, because we can. And now let's move to the Sun Things village. Now we're gonna get 5,000 gold before we can get some an additional cool things. So we're just gonna keep moving like this. Now there are also some stuff lying around occasionally. I'm gonna show it to you when I see it, like water and things like that. So you can grab those items and give yourselves a bit more water. Okay. So again, this is just telling us about the city. We don't really need to worry about that too much. Let's sell all of our... Oh, this is not gonna give us much money. Where's my cloth? Did I not buy the cloth? I guess I forgot to buy the cloth. Oh well. Let's sell this then. And we could buy... Cotton, presumably. Let's buy like 36 cotton. And we'll also buy like 10 water and 10 meat. Oh, we don't have enough for that, so let's. We need a little bit less of these of the cotton. So we'll just get like 30 cotton and then we'll get the rest in meat. Okay, deal. That should be enough to get us to border town. No, we don't have enough water. I hate when that happens. So we need to sell something in order to buy water. We'll sell one bug beast meat and buy one water in exchange for that. You can also go if you don't have enough water. What will happen is once you run out of water, you will be losing a little bit of your HP. But if there is some water lying around, you could grab it. We're gonna go grab this, see whether there's some water there. No, just like rifle bullets. Okay. Well, those are great, but not overly helpful. Uh, we need to keep going to the border town. So now we're gonna run out of water. So we're gonna lose a little bit of our HP, but it should be okay. I'm gonna say like, you gotta replenish that ASAP. It's all right, but we're gonna get in. Now, Border Town is the largest city. So this, we can buy a lot of stuff here. We can buy vehicles. We can go to the tavern to gain new people to join us. We could also go to the town hall to gain quests. But first we gotta, we gotta sell all of our cotton. Bought it for 78, selling it for 98, so that's pretty good. And uh, we also need to get some more water and some more rat meat. Now we got three and a half thousand, so we're gonna buy something that we could sell in um, either in the cactus village or in the sun things village. The cactus village is probably better. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to look at the quests. You can see all of our quests. And it's actually going to tell us that in the border town it actually doesn't say what you should buy here, but I think, let's try. Also, cigarettes are interesting. You can use them to uh, go in the tavern and to, for example, play games like blackjack and gain more cigarettes, which you can then sell for pretty good prices. So that's interesting. Let's try to get some, try to get some corn, like 10 corn and 10 oil. And we'll hope that we can sell one of these for good prices. And we'll get the rest in sugar. And let's hope for the best. We should have enough food and stuff, so we should be able to just go straight to Cactus Village. We're we'll missing a little bit of water. Do we want to bother buying that? We could. Oh, we, we should, by the way, be able to sell the rifle bullets in the black market, which I believe is over here. So we could sell this for 10 each which is pretty good let's let's actually do that we don't need them right now and we could also buy new weapons if we had enough money which we do right now but i'm not gonna do it because i want to move on in the quest did i sell it i didn't sell it okay i keep forgetting to click this deal to actually sell that thing and now we can buy that water that we need really not even one in that case let's sell one sugar i guess we'll buy one water 
And now let's move back to the cactus village. Let's keep moving. Seems to be a lot of bullets laying around. Oh, doing civilians. We could attack them if you wanted to, but we might do that later. Alright, now we're going to try to sell. See, the corn is not effective to sell here. The oil is, so we'll sell it. And the sugar is as well, so we'll sell that too. It's going to give us 2,200. We're going to buy 10 more water and 10 more food for that. And we will also buy plenty of salt because we know that we can sell the salt in... Um, we can sell salt in the Tucker village, so we're going to move there. And again, we're out of water. Every time. Alright, in that case, let's sell... The corn is ineffective to sell, though. Let's sell... Oh, this is healing. That's not a good thing to sell. Okay, I guess I guess we'll sell two corn or five corn and we'll buy five water in order to deal with that. And let's keep moving to Tucker Village. I'm gonna do... Oh, there's also water up here that we could grab. Yeah, I was, I was hoping for some like traders that we could attack just to show it to you because I think it's pretty fun. Alright, in the Taka village, we're going to sell all of our salt. The uh, corn is still at a bad price. And we're going to buy some oil. I don't think the oil is at best, best prices here, but I guess we'll try. And we'll go back. And we're gonna, this time we're gonna walk towards the water that we know is up there. So even though it's gonna take us a little bit longer, we're just gonna have enough. So let's go that way. Grab the water to make sure we have enough. We have plenty of food, so we don't need to worry about it. And we can, oh, it wasn't the water, come on. We're also gonna attack the dune bandits, cause why not? Doing pretty well health-wise. We're gonna start by shocking this one in the front. And we'll do a regular attack from the back. Okay, we lowered their armor pretty nicely. Wow, they can do a pretty high damage there. Let's do a regular attack so that my other character can do the repeating thing. Repeating. Keep missing with the repeating attack, which is kind of sad. Stun him again. Repeating damage. Again we missed. We do the stunning on the guy in the back we can. So let's do a regular attack. Broke his armor, that's nice. Yes, now we did 100 and we didn't get a secondary attack though. But at least we didn't miss. Let's keep stunning this guy. We'll do a repeating attack again. Great, that guy's dead. He did not get the attack the action point back though. We gotta keep stunning him, otherwise we're gonna get hit significantly. Okay, now we can't stun him this time, so we're just gonna do a regular attack to do as much damage as we can. And then the repeating attack, yes, that was great. That was a critical hit. And we got a hard axe, which we could then equip to our guy if it's effective, which we don't know yet, but we'll find out. Oh, wait, wait, my, my map, we need to go to Cactus Village. It was a little bit of HP, but it should be all right. We could also camp to increase our HP again, but even if you're in camping, you're also losing water, so you want to make sure that you're not doing that too much. Let's sell all our oil. And... Still not quite enough of the money. That's alright, though. We could sell the hard axe to get to the money we need, but we're not gonna do it just yet. Instead, I'm gonna show you how we can equip it. So if we go to our characters, we could go to read. And we could give him this um, hard axe instead of the mace. So the mace does 57 damage, it's gonna do 66 damage. I gotta say, when I had the two melee characters, it was much easier. The combat was much easier because the damage was spread out, so we almost never ran out of health as opposed to now. We're actually quite hurt. We could also uh, let him eat the primary healing injection if he wanted to, but again, I don't think they're gonna bother. 
Let me buy like 10 water and we'll grab grab again I guess salt and bring it over to the next area we should also sell the mace it would be better to sell at the, the black market but we're gonna sell it here anyways because I just want to get that money we probably need 10 more water 16 water 14 food so we should be enough to go to the tucker village now we are going to heal, heal ourselves over time but if you are attacked right now it'd probably be a little bit problematic that's all right. We want to sell the stuff there. We're going to continue the story because I, I want to show you how it kind of progresses because we're going to get a vehicle there, which is kind of cool. All right, so here we're going to sell all of our salt again. All right. And we're also going to buy... Yeah, we can sell the oil for profit. Not much profit-wise, but at least some. We're going to get 12 water and uh, another eight of food. And we'll get the rest in oil. And we'll move back. Okay. Ooh, we can sell cactus here for a really good price. Let's sell all our cactus and get three water and a little bit of this food. We'll keep moving and we'll move back again. Off we go. Now the way the vehicles work is that you can uh, like assign a person to a vehicle and then uh, you're gonna move with the speed that's equal to the minimum of your speed of all your vehicles. So if you only have one vehicle for one person, you won't be able to actually um, drive the vehicle. But if you had uh, multiple vehicles, then you could. Just keep that in mind. Right, let's go to old Rudy's house. Young man, I'm the... <laughs> village head what do you need came to bring you money has your mission been completed yes as far as i know old rudy has always prepared some funds so we don't need to give him all the money we make the extra part will only go into his own pocket we will become sitting ducks this is really good news our anti-bug beast drug are not much in stock i don't want to be eaten by bug beasts robert's winking at us in fact, we now have 4,000 gold, which is a bit short of 5,000. Well, I will raise the rest. I already took out a box and put out 4,000 funds in it. Then he took out his own money and put the money bags into the box one by one. Seems reluctant. Hurry up with these funds and go to Border Town to exchange it for the anti bugby drugs. Okay, but you see that our fight raising trip is not easy. Mm, of course. If you don't tell me, I understand. I'm already ready. This story has followed me for many years and now it is yours. Robert took the trolley. Thank you, old Rudy. We're leaving now. Thank you, old Rudy. We're leaving now. Cheapskate, send us away with some waste that is quickly used up. However, it's better than nothing. Can you use this vehicle to increase the caravan's low limit? A little confused. Is there something wrong? What's the matter with the vehicle? This is the collective term for all means of transportation, including carts, motorcycles, trucks, etc. You can buy them in the vehicle shop. The vehicles can provide low enough speed for caravans. This area only has a vehicle shop in the border town. Maybe each vehicle has durability and we can repair it. And if it goes to zero, we'll lose it. All right, let's 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 leave this. And we can go into the vehicle. All right, so we've got the trolley. I'm gonna assign myself as the driver. And then um, Robert cannot actually join in the trolley because there only has space for one person. Also, it does go with the walking speed, so it doesn't really matter much. But we do have it now and it does increase our load. So we can now buy more stuff if we wanted to. So we're going to, as always going to need to buy a lot more water and so I'm going to buy 20 water and I'm also going to buy salt which I believe I should be able to sell in border town so let's hope uh, we're gonna stop by here graph images okay that's pretty interesting I guess those are supposed to be bandages. I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be. <laughs> well, there are a lot of people here. All right, let's go first to the town hall and bring the money. Young man, I firmly believe that there's no free lunch in the world. What do you need? 
came to bring you money. You and Robert come to Sophie's office. Oh, my brother Ray, what brought you here? Mayor, this is Robert. We came here to pay taxes for the next quarter. Yes, brother Robert, you're so polite. There are a lot more. There's a lot more than last time. Takes the money, put it on the scales, and smiles. Say hello to your really chief. Lord Arcus, I'm gonna call him Marcus. This is an increase of 50% compared to the previous agreement based on the last agreement. I hope you can supply some workers to Cactus Village since. I got it, I got it, Ray. His name is Robert. My oh, man, listen, we're also short of manpower. It's such a big town and managing so many villages, we have to employ people everywhere. Last time we worked together to suppress bandits, Cactus Village rushed to the forefront, but the soldiers we lost has never been replenished. Don't worry, listen to me, just bought a dozen undergrounders from a group of strange businessmen. Cost me a lot of money to buy those stupid men. But they are snatched by the Kaiti gang. If you can find a way to get them back, these people will all belong to you. Hey! Ray, my brother. My name is not Ray, my name is Albert. Please learn it. Do you know how much an undergrounder sells on this pool end? Hey, I'm an undergrounder. Don't talk about me like that. Find them back. How about you take all the underground? You can make a lot of money on this scale. That's mean. Don't do that. Is it a group of people wearing beak masks? Beak masks? Yes, yeah, right. It was sold to me by a few merchants wearing beak masks. Okay. Thank you, Lord Orcus. This young girl next to you looks fresh. Have you newly recruited mercenaries? My friend is also an underground, and now she has joined Cactus Village. The only benefit of these underground is that they have good health. Hey! <laughs> that is super mean. Yeah, goodbye. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Let's go save our buddies from the Coyote Gang. They're just like so mean. No, you know, again, don't want to talk about anything. Let's just go. We can also go to the pun inquire about products and remain news. We could mercenize and even have a poker game with alcoholics. Four cigarettes. If you, oh, you could also try to learn about new, like, um, rumors and get new quests by talking to the barkeep for that. Again, we need, we need cigarettes. Alright, well, I think this is a good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments. And you can click on the right to watch some other merchant games like Vargas Thriven Realms. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.